Hi, thanks for watching my ninth video about my ninth painting of my 12 painting 2018 Brave New World series, brought to you by myself, the artist, Ian Young, and sold to collector Fred Whitehead through the Jones Gallery of Kansas City, Missouri. I am recording this video on Devil's Night, October 30th, 2018. This ninth painting is titled, Death Appreciation Interrupted, The Not-So-Peaceful Passing of Linda Lysenko. This is another extremely morbid part of the novel. In fact, I would nominate this one for the most disturbing painting in the series, along with seven and eight and maybe one or two others. John went raging out of Lenina's apartment after a call from Linda's nurse in the, at the end of the last chapter. He'd never been taught in civilization that without families and close friends, there's really no need for goodbye ceremonies or funerals. So the hospitals also serve as crematoriums. The savage's mother is almost done passing by way of terminal bliss. Making up for 30 years lost time without the pharmaceuticals she depended on for happiness, um, she's gradually taken larger and larger doses upon returning to civilization. And unbeknownst to John, which would have been fine had her body had the tolerance of everyone else and she hadn't had those 30 years without them in New Mexico, but you know, she, she did, so they're, they're really taking a toll on her. The doctors tell John that the drugs she demands upon arrival back, you know, they, they'll eventually kill her, but slowly, um, you know, long term way down the line, not within a few weeks or a few months of returning to civilization and John reg regrettably trusts them. Linda passes peacefully while John cries in anguish by her side and that's when the day's students arrive for their death appreciation training. Death appreciation is sort of like Halloween but far more up close and personal to death itself. And uh, no child has the option um, to drop out due to parental or religious objection. The class sings songs about death and dying and each student applies makeup to their own chosen corpse after they witness the, you know, the person taking their last breath and actually passing in front of them. After they witness that, they are taken to a cre you know, the crematorium section where the students have to pull the levers that cremate them. And only upon cremating them um, is the lesson completed by eating chocolate eclairs and donuts and lollipops and other sugary sweets and singing more songs about death. And like I mentioned, students must pass this class before they are to graduate grade school and become adolescents uh, officially. The lower case are all conditioned to believe they will be reborn or reincarnated again as their preferred case after they die, which they always assume is their own per their conditioning. Alphas are aware there is no afterlife, but are forbidden to do the scientific research because it has always interfered with universal happiness in every occurrence it's been tried in the past since the great population wars of the 21st century. So even though the alphas know that no one knows, they're not supposed to tell anyone that they, you know, no one knows. I used a lot of traditional goth symbols in this painting for obvious reasons, um, along with the, uh, the ones pertaining directly to the novel, like the eclairs and the twins. Um, I threw the reaper in, a mummy, a raven, an evil clown, some spiders, just uh, traditional gothic sorts of things. I have another image of the young John the Savage up here in the upper left crying about the, the passing of his mother, um, you know, the lost child that didn't really get the, a proper youth like most of us do. Linda is having a pleasant hallucination here of being back in the desert with John, Thomas, and, and all her old boyfriends, Native Americans and those from civilization, with a never-ending supply of pills, happy the type of daydream she wished would have come true in her lifetime and was an actual memory, but never did and sadly never will. Hoping to come back like a phoenix, which I did paint up here. Twins of Deltas wearing khaki and, and other, you know, other case of other twins 
are celebrating being the corpses of uh, the corpses being prepped and um, are celebrating death down here at the bottom. Obviously, there's a group here around Linda all smiling while John's crying. Um, one of the twins starts mocking her appearance and then a few of the other twins start mocking her appearance while John is witnessing all of it right in front of him. And one of the rudest Delta boys says something extremely offensive. I can't remember what, but John turns to a blind rage and um, he boxes that Delta twin square between the ears right in front of the morticians and the teachers and the other alphas. The other children all start screaming and the principal and, and those teachers try to intervene, but John yells about the horrors of death at the top of his lungs. He quotes Shakespeare, he makes a giant scene, threatens more violence, and ultimately storms out of the hospital to get answers as to why he wasn't informed of his mom's condition sooner. The funeral workers and teachers are furious with John for interrupting their death appreciation lesson and have no idea why he would be upset since casual acquaintances are the closest they have to family and death is supposed to be celebrated and shared. They threaten to call the police and to vaporize John with a sedative gas, but don't, at least not yet. That's about all I have to say for this really morbid painting in the Brave New World series. Death appreciation interrupted the not so peaceful passing of Linda Lysenko. Thank you for watching, of course. I am Ian Young, the artist. Stay tuned for video number 10 of the 10th painting in the series. This one is titled, Oh Brave New World. It's kind of the title track. Oh Brave New World, The Riot of the Deltas, Violence During Medication Time. Thanks again.